The Oxford Dictionary defines artificial intelligence as being the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. On its own, Oxford defines artificial as being made or produced by human beings rather than occurring naturally, especially as a copy of something natural, and intelligence on its own as the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. A noteworthy secondary definition of knowledge is information held on a computer system. This means artificial intelligence could include something as simple as the motion and light sensors on a security light. It's performing the function of sensing motion, which turns on a light, a skill. On an important level, AI is also defined by the learning element, memory recall, affecting application, such as your robotic vacuum cleaner, learning the layout of your house, recognising and mapping where the boundaries are in order to achieve its program goal, covering every cubic centimetre of floor space. So these examples of isolated sensors, distance, proximity, lux levels, motion sensors, even rain sensing wipers which have been in cars since the 90s, are all examples which, when working together, form something we've termed artificial intelligence. AI also correctly brings to mind visions of hybrid human robots, which is where things start to get interesting. Intelligence is also defined as involving perception, reasoning, interpretation, creativity, emotional understanding and problem solving. Considering all of these aspects is particularly fascinating because it's where we see emerging and blurring as a classic binary boundaries between machines and men and shining light on the facets that are at the core of being human, emotions, feelings, morals, ethics and belief systems. I feel it's important to acknowledge the lead up to AI, the industrial revolution, the birth of factories, mechanising processes to efficiency levels to which human abilities can't compare. This did two opposing things, made people redundant and unemployed, and relieved many from the monotony of repetitive, boring, and potentially dangerous unhealthy and unsafe work environments. Improving the quality of life for humanity means improving safety standards and efficiency, whilst decreasing manual labour, which is physically harmful and mentally taxing. Machines are the answer to this, and, as technology improves, with increasing efficiency and to a higher standard than humanly possible, increasingly, with AI. It's this human obsolescence, the fear that there won't be jobs for people to earn a living, that is central to the fears of AI, and it was this same public fear of the unknown which was experienced during the Industrial Revolution, focusing on a lack of employment opportunities and lost income. What we have to remember is that new jobs will emerge, even if we don't know what they will be exactly.